I hope you're as excited as I am about seeing this episode of Years of Living Dangerously. Uh, having the Years team and Brad Whitford on the hill with us was really fun. The sessions they filmed were just delightful in terms of showing how what we do makes an impact on Capitol Hill. So thank you for being there tonight. I hope you enjoy this as much as we enjoyed putting it together. Hey everybody. When I heard that the first season of Years of Living Dangerously was going to focus on talking to real people who are affected by climate change, I was really excited. Because one of the most important things we can do when we're talking about climate change is relate it directly to people's experience and show that it's not just about the polar bears, it's actually about us right here in the places where we live. But I was even more excited when I heard that the second season was going to focus on solutions, particularly the idea of putting a price on carbon, because that is what we need to do to move forward on this issue. And the social science has shown that if we talk about a problem, but we don't offer people a tangible, viable solution, then it's hard for people to accept the reality of the problem. That's why I love CCL, is because there is a solution. And I am so excited that that's what the years is talking about tonight. Enjoy. Now, I've thought we were relevant before. In fact, very relevant. In fact, really important. I feel that's more so than ever now. That if there's ever a chance when citizens need to step up and take charge of what's happening, speak to their government, have their voice be heard, it's now. I want to thank you all for being a part of the Citizens Climate Lobby. I want you to encourage everyone you know to join the Citizens Climate Lobby. This was one of the most amazing experiences of my professional life and it was a real epiphany for me to see how the Citizens Climate Lobby works in such a strategic, respectful, effective, non-confrontational way. It's something that I want to apply to every issue that I am passionate about. Um, so I, I hope everyone you know will get involved to uh, preserve our, our delicate planet. And obviously these are difficult times and we need the most effective groups advocating the loudest. So I also want to just express my gratitude to the heroic Jay Butera, who has been fighting this epic battle for a long, long time. It's an inspiration to all of us. So uh, I hope you enjoy the episode, and I hope you'll continue to support the Citizens Climate Lobby and the really important work that they're doing. Thank you. Some people say I'm going to be nominated for multiple Emmys. Should I, should I mention this? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.